and uh, welcome our keynote speaker. So, I'm a damn up where I think I'm going to get it. I think Good morning, everyone. Dine a lab? Dine a lab? Shall we all stand? Dine a lab? Dine a lab! Fire, fire, fire! I want to hear the big fire, and when the speaker is here, please, all of us should be quiet and listen carefully. I'm sure when he speaks, you are going to pick one or two things. Our lives will not be the same. No movements have put guards on the door. We are, this is not a time of us joking. This is serious business. So a big hand to our keynote speaker, our guest speaker, Mr. Joshua Maponga. A big hand for him. Fire, fire, Maponga! Fire, fire, Maponga! Thank you so much, sir. While you're still standing, put your hand on your head, if that is your head. Say after me, this is how I think. Come on, move away from everybody. You need to be in your own space. I want to talk to you individually. Stay away from me. Just tell me, but stay away from me a little bit. Yeah. yeah, this is how I think. Put your hand on your head. Put your hand on your heart. This is how I feel. Put your hand in your hand. This is how I do. One more time, like you believe it. This is how I think. This is how I feel. And this is how I do. There are three things you're going to do when you live here. Number one, collect correct information. Start being in the business of thinking correctly. Don't allow your mind to become a garden of fungi and broken dreams and all sorts of gossip. You, know, you need to rewire your software and start thinking properly. Poverty is not a state of assets. Poverty is a state of mind. This is how I want you to think. Number two, this is how I feel. What is your passion? What is it that wakes you up in the morning? What is it that you want to achieve? Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. You are not here to be selling products. Sorry to say that. You are not here to sell products. You are here to buy houses. You are here to buy cars. You are here to play the baller for your wife. You are here to pay school fees for your children. Don't look at day lab as a place where you are selling products. Your, the products are not your dreams. They are a means to your dream. Therefore, when you look at when you look at day lab, we are not in the business of selling products. We are in the business of helping people to realize their dreams. Hold on. This is where many of you miss it. Because you think that you are being supervised to see how many products you have sold. Wrong idea. Until I know your vision and your dream, then I'll know why you are here. And when you see this brand, something inside you must tell you, my car, my house, my children, my new dress, my new this. And therefore, create passion. What is it that you want? And what is it that you want to achieve? Then when you get into these spaces, you know you are here to meet up something that will help you to drive towards the goals that you have. So think about that, number one. Don't just think about it. Feel about it. What must you do? Feel about it. Do not chase money. Chase your vision. Chase your dreams. Can I tell you a story? There was a young man who is here. I won't mention his name. 
he got a picture from his girlfriend from Mazabuka. And it was a flash picture, you know, ching, and she just showed him half of this and then king and says, I want you here by six o'clock. Mazabuka. And he's in Lusaka. He had no money. He had no car. He had nothing. But the picture arrived saying, you must arrive here. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Can I go further? I, I hope he had taken some um, some uh, Tongat Ali tea to, to make sure when he arrives there, the pencil is writing. But he, 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 he had received a picture that I want you here by six o'clock. You see, there's something that happens in life. When your heart arrives first, your body follows. You didn't hear me. When the heart <laughs> arrives and the body is here, the body will follow where your heart is. This is what happened to the gentleman. He walked up to his manager and says, Manager, something very important has come up. Walked up to his friend, may you please give me some money. Walked up to the other one, can you please hold on to this? I need some money. Ladies and gentlemen, by 6 o'clock, he was in Masabuka. Don't ask me how he got there. When you know where your heart is, when you know where your passion is, you will create time. You will create money. You will make an effort and you will get yourself there. Never tell anybody I don't have money. Say I don't have the passion for it. Because the day you have passion, you will create the time. You will create the resources. And you will be present. Now you understand what the Bible says. Where your money is, that's where your You, you, now, you now get it? I know Jesus told you and you thought it was about going to heaven. No, wait. We'll attend to heaven when we get there. For now, while we're here, where your money is, that's where your heart is. Therefore, find your heart and you will find your money sitting next to your heart. If you don't love money, don't come here. We don't have to motivate you to go to work. Useless job. I quit that job many times ago. We are not here to motivate anybody. Ask me what must, what must motivate you. It's your broken down car. It's your fridge that has no food. It's your children that are not going to school. It's your shirt that is torn at the back. It is your car which is koro koro, which we must push before you go. It's your wife who wants a holiday in fix us. When you look at these things, they are the things which must motivate you. Now, when you come here for me to be paid for, to come and motivate you, it's a waste of time. I can't motivate you. It is your vision, your dreams, your ambitions, your desires. That must motivate you. When you look at your empty fridge, which has one bottle of water, you need to be motivated. <laughs> To do something about it. So think about that. Feel about that. In conclusion, do about that. Don't just think and feel. My definition of success, reduce the distance between your thinking and your doing. Success. So don't tell me I'm going to make money. How? Don't tell me I'll be a millionaire. How? Don't tell me I am going to. I am going to. How? Many people's dreams are in the pipeline. In the pipeline. How long is this pipe? Just cut the damn pipe. Deliver the dreams. Hey, I will build a house. Hey, I will build a house. 15 years later, you are still going to build it. Where is the house? What you think about and you start feeling about it. Wake up in the morning and start doing about it. I know, I'm a biker, by the way. I do biking. And for four or five years, I was thinking I want to become a biker. So the first day I decided I was going to become a biker, 
Yeah. I got a big nice 1.6 liter engine victory classic uh, cruiser bike, you know. 1.6 liter engine throbbing between your legs. You don't know how powerful that is. And I said, I'm going to become a biker. So I went to the shops and I bought the jacket in preparation. A few weeks later, I bought the shoes in preparation. I got the trousers, leather trousers, in preparation. And I got the helmet in preparation. Then I went and got the license in preparation. When my uniform, my licenses were all in order, then I went to buy a bike. And I've done a couple of thousands of kilometers cruising from Namibia to Swaziland to Lesotho and cruising around South Africa on my bike. So don't just dream about it. Start buying the jacket. Huh. And you can smell the dream is getting closer and it's getting closer. You won't believe the day when I sat on that when I sat on that Suzuki MCM 13 and my blood was throbbing. Many times we people who are successful are not surprised by the success. Ask me why. Because we get there before we get there. Oh, you missed it. Successful people experience success before success. Therefore, success is not a surprise. It's not like prayer. It's not like prayer. Miracle money, miracle money. Take some bricks and beat up that pastor. He's lying. There's no miracle money. Next time you're in church, don't pray for money. Even God does not have it. If God had money, then why are pastors asking us for offerings? If you want to get pregnant, you listen to me, I speak once, you hear me? I speak once, you hear me? If you want to get pregnant, don't go to bed putting on tight jeans. You, you catch it? You catch it? If you want to get pregnant, you can't go to bed putting on tight jeans. No! Even God cannot help you. Because you have made it impossible for what you are praying for to manifest. Whoever wants to get pregnant, start looking like you are interested in what you are praying for. Does that make sense? If you want to be successful, stop making it impossible to achieve your dreams. Get out, start doing something about it. Feel about it and think about that. In my class, the first distinct students are those who have started to think right and are moving well with their hearts and they're active with their hands. That's how we are going to achieve the goals that we desire. Take your seat. Introduction is over. So if you are going to start selling, I'm just taking off from where I left off in Hararo. If you are going to start selling your product, sell to the mind. Do you know your product? Convince me. Information. Statistics. Technologies. Sciences. Biology. How does this tea work? What is in it? How many grams of this? How many grams of that? How many grams of that? Sell to my head first. Convince me that which you are selling to me is worth my money. People don't buy products. They buy information. People buy information and before I buy information, I buy you. You better be consuming what you are selling. Don't say, hey, this thing will help you to lose weight. It will help you to lose weight. And then we are looking at you and say, what weight? Which part of the weight are you talking about? You know, this, this thing will get you energetic. 
and we are now you are tired you are tired like a goat that has been running on the side of the mountain no start consuming your products know how they feel and how they work so that when you are talking about them even if you have not achieved the goal but be excited that you have begun also to experience the changes that are happening with the product that you are selling. Sell to the mind. Do you know what you're talking about? Are you convinced about the product that you are selling me? Give me information. That's why when we start talking, people look at you and they look at you like this, like my gentleman is doing right there. You don't know. Keep your hand where it is. Keep your hand where it is. When you see a client sitting at you looking like that, they are saying, I need more information. I need more information. And I'm already directing you where I want you to talk to. And when you look like my other, no, put your hand back. Even if I hear the information, I still have questions. I still have questions on the information that you are giving me. But that is for the head space. Department number two is when you find a person sitting like, oh, I'm a good speaker, like my lady there, with her hands across her chest. She said, how is that information relating to my heart? How am I connected to what you've just told me up there? When a person is now sitting like that, they're not asking for more information. They're asking for emotional issues. This is how you would feel. This is how you would feel. This is how and this is what it will do to you. And finally, when a person sits like that, they are saying, please, give me the piece of paper, let me sign. Give me the product. My hands are down. I am ready to collect what I... So don't, don't continuously be selling up here when my hands are already down. I'm saying, I'm defeated. Give me what you want to give me. Close the sale. Close the sale and walk home. This is how you think. Sell to the mind. This is how you feel. Sell to the heart. This is how you do sell to the head. I'm here with you this afternoon representing an organization called Farmers of Thought. What do we call it? Farmers of When I look at your heads, I'm seeing my vegetable gardens where I'm in the business of planting seeds into the minds of the African children. There's no one within the reach of my voice this afternoon who is going to walk away here the same way that you came. Your lives will change. That's, that's my contract with you. Your lives will? So don't worry about everything else you've been taught. Just borrow me your mind for a little while. Allow me to delete some wrong files and write the new ones. And my grandfather would always tell me when he finds me working hard. He says, no, Chana, Mzukuru, stop working so hard. Now, simply put, since you are struggling to work with your brains, please take your brains, put them in the back pocket, use mine. When I am dead, then you will, <laughs> you will look for yours. Because I've worked in the sales department all my life. I paid my university work through selling books. Some of you are Adventists, you know what they call literature evangelism. I would sell books on holidays and pay for my school fees as early as the age of 15 and age of 16. I have a couple of degrees behind my back right now and no one can claim that they sponsored me with nothing. So your orphanage and your stories and your poverty is not an obstruction to your success. Because some of us, some of us have made it without the support that you have. And these modern children confuse me. We send them to school. We even take them to school. We prepare lunch for them. We help them with homework and they still fail. <laughs> Can you believe that? But in our generation, those of you who were born in the 60s, do you know what I'm talking about? You remember your mother helping you with your homework. Then why am I sending you to school? We need a new software altogether. So how do we think is most important, which is the estate of the mind? What quality of seeds do you have? What quality of ground do you have? 
what quality of maintenance of good information do you have? Leaders read. Readers lead. Improve the quality of your information. You will improve the quality of your speech. Huh? Come on. You improve the quality of your? You also improve the quality of your actions. Because unless your mind knows it, your mouth can't speak it. Listen to me carefully. When the face is beautiful and the software is not working, hardware suffers. <laughs> Some of you guys are slow. Come on, guys. When the face is and the software, hardware, the problem, therefore, is not with the hardware. The problem is not with the beautiful face. The real problem <laughs> is the software. And remember, hardware cannot perform better than software. The quality of your thinking determines the quality of your dreams. Therefore, start thinking better, higher, cleaner, richer. And when wealth arrives, it already finds a destination where it must go. So the first estate is the estate of the mind. The next estate is the estate of the middle ground. There we are talking about reproduction. There we are talking about the next generation. Stop creating businesses that will die when you die. Like those old witchcraft, witchcraft uh, grocery shops in the village. Where an old man used to have shops and buses and what? The day he dies, ah, he dies with it. Now all we find, there used to be a Mr. So-and-so here. There used to be Mr. So-and-so here. Because while this man was building his business, he did not build it with prosperity, with a future. Did not hand over information, technologies. You are not building this business for yourself. You are building this business for the next generation. Because until and unless you build your children to learn the same business, it will die with you the day you die. And poverty will never depart from your house. Reproduction. Are you in control of what will come after you're gone? And what are you doing about it? If this was a men's conference, I will get excited and say men are connecting cables between the past and the future. Huh? Now you know what I'm talking about, isn't it? Men are connecting cables between the past and the That's why maybe they walk around with cables. And um, before you connect your cables, make sure that the ground is fertile. Hello, somebody out there. That's what the men's conference, yeah. Sorry, ladies, we're going to close your ears, yeah. And, and ladies, before they connect, just make sure also that uh, they can see their children in your eyes. That's for another day, you know. I'll traumatize you. Of course, we'll say always, how do you know that you love a woman when you can see your children dancing in her, in, in her eyes? Then that woman you love her. Connect correctly. Create that which will outlive you. And number three, the land underneath your feet, which is the ground. Agriculture. Not only the land underneath your ground, your wealth, your history. Remember, you cannot give a man, hashtag, a man cannot be given land underneath his feet if he does not control the land between his legs. And control the land between his ears. We are going, we are going further, higher class now. Yeah, you cannot give a man land underneath his feet if he does not own the land. Wherever I want, and even if you wanted to tell me not to go there, from where you are sitting, there is very little you can do. So let's go to church a little bit and let's have fun. How many of you have heard? How many of you have heard of a man called Lazarus? Hello. 
Wait, not, have you heard about Lazarus? You heard how many sisters? Come on, you heard how many sisters? Two sisters. They lived in a small little town called Bethany. Now, this is what your pastor will never tell you. But since I was a bishop for some 30, 33 years plus, let's take it to another level. Let's just upgrade the software a little bit. You know, even when you buy a phone, they say software upgrade. Huh? What do you call it? And I think we're all here this afternoon to do some small basic software. Software update. Lazarus had two sisters, and then Lazarus gets sick. And Lazarus dies. Where there is poor maintenance, where there's poor health, people get sick and people die. Do not be an undertaker to your own Lazarus. Do not be an undertaker to your own dreams. <laughs> Don't become a funeral pillar of your own visions. Many of us are thinking there are enemies out there. There are no enemies out there. You are the greatest enemy to yourself. You do not spend time doing the things that will cause you to succeed. You waste time on WhatsApp, on Facebook, walking up and down, watching TV, listening to radio, and etc. And you forget that there is work that needs to be done. There's no witchcraft out there. You are the witch to yourself. Ask me why. Ask me why. Ask me why. Because some of you who are right here, if we leave you in a room all by yourself, you will commit suicide. You are able to kill you. You don't need a devil. There are people who are here who are candidates for the graveyard. They are able to commit suicide and kill themselves. Over a boyfriend, over a girlfriend, over a stolen car, over what? And you, you can actually kill yourself. So where is the witch? Where is the witch? You will have powders in your nose, bathing, looking to the west and to the east, chasing away bad luck. You help bad luck to yourself. And until you change the way you think, you will chase enemies around the world when the greatest enemy is the one who looks at you when you are looking in the mirror. Hello. They will also say, hello. If you are looking in the mirror, if you say, hi, they will also say, hi. And they say, eh, what's your name? They will also say to you, and eh, what's your name? You know, who's got a problem here? They will be asking also, who has a problem right here? So next time you look in the mirror, ask yourself the question, do I have a relationship with this man looking at me, with this woman looking at me in the mirror? What is the quality of your relationship with yourself? You love that person? Do you look after that person? Do you trust that person? Do you develop that person? Love you. And it will be easy for some of us to love you too. Huh? <laughs> love you. And then we also will what? We will love you. It's easier to love someone who loves themselves. Than looking for those who are begging and looking for love. Where are you looking for what? You cannot look for what you don't what you have. When you are satisfied with yourself, you are easy and easily satisfied when other people make efforts to love you also. Because you know how difficult it is to love yourself. Zacchaeus, no sorry, Lazarus dies. Don't allow your dreams to die in your hands many of us who are here if not some of us we have actually buried oh man I feel like a preacher this morning i feel like a preacher this morning there are some people right here who have buried themselves put their goals and dreams in coffins Move to the sides of the mountain 
and bury themselves there to rot and die. Life is difficult. Since when? Ah, we are just trying. We're trying what? Oh no, I wish, I wish. And they only don't just bury. When they bury, they take a big stone. Heaven. <laughs> A big stone, whether it's a religious stone, whether it's a political stone, whether it's a cultural stone, and they close those graves. Some of us are not achieving success because of the limitations we have put in front of our own gates, particularly Christians. You have a bad relationship with money. That's why money always runs away from you. Your pastors told you, hey, it, the money, the love of money is, is the root of all evil. It doesn't say money is the root of evil. The love of money is the root of all evil. In my Bible, then it says, and the absence also. You know, when you don't have money, you are more evil sometimes than those who have money. When you see us, we have money. Hey, there's a snake. Hey, they do witchcraft. Were you there? Were you there when I did witchcraft? Hey, they are selling drugs. They are selling drugs. Oh, oh, they, you, why not sell the drugs also? Uh -uh. You will always find something wrong to say to those that are successful. Now, who is more evil? The one who has money or the one who doesn't have money? So the absence of money. The most wicked person is the one who is poor. Poor people are wicked people. Always envying. You give them something, they could have given me more. Hey, if you, where do I get it if you want more? Go it for yourself. The Bible never talks about poor people. God has never worked with poor people, except for illustrations. Hey, you don't hear English, you people. C can, can I make it simpler? God does not work with poor people, except for illustrations. When God is illustrating something, then he uses poor people, like Lazarus. You see, Lazarus. But when God wants work to be done, goes to people who have armies and soldiers like Abraham, says, now go redeem your brother. Goes to David, a man who could build a temple all by himself. Goes to Solomon, a man who has money. Goes to Peter, a man who has a boat for fishing. Goes to Paul, a man who could read and write, a tent maker and a businessman. And God does not work with people who are doing nothing. If you are useless in this world, don't even dream about going to heaven. I'm saying so. I'm saying so. Because the same black book says, H, this one is a painful one. Tell them, Maponga said it. There's a verse somewhere in the Bible that says, the one who has, on Matthew 25, the one who has <laughs> more will be given more <laughs> hey, are you there? The one who has Mamene and Yamata are not a me. Leza, Ampa, Vambi, no. The other side, and then the black book says, The one who does not have. Even the little that they have will be taken away and given to the one that has more. Did you, did, did you know that, that those with plenty, God looks at them and blesses them some more? Those with little, both in terms of thinking and resources, they spend all that they have given to those that have more already. So the question is, how do you begin to become the one who has more and more is given to you? Oh, I like this other part here. Are you aware that God can't access you when you are locked behind the stones of impossibilities? I'm, I'm having some good church today. 
Hello, somebody. Even God cannot help you when you are locked behind the catacombs and the stones of it can't be done. I like the black book. Where did you put him? Did you read it? Where did you identify the areas of your weaknesses? Identify the graves of your dreams. Identify the tombs of your visions. And walk up there and say, here is my problem. Are you with me? Here is my problem. There's no problem. There's money. Huh? So money is not a problem. 30,000 worth of stock. There's the product. There's you, the salesman, saleswoman. There's a sick community out there. Where is the problem? <laughs> if I may ask, like, like honestly. <laughs> they are not even healthy. They are sick. Some of them wake up in the morning at half past. Hello, gentlemen out there. Hello, gentlemen out there. They are all at half past. When men must be waking up at quarter past and 12 o'clock. Oh, you guys are not listening, man. You're not listening. And you have the solution to quarter past and 12 o'clock. Where is the problem? The problem is your software and the problem is you. How do you solve the problems of the community? You are the solution. Come on, tell neighbor, I am the solution. Come on, come on, say like you believe it. I am the solution. When you meet anyone, when you are leaving this place, everyone in Lusaka, everyone in Mazibuka, everyone in Dola, in Kitwe, in Livingstone, everyone on the street, they are your patients. When you greet them, ask me how you greet them. Ask me how you greet them. How can I help you? Hello, somebody. How can I help you? That's a beautiful introduction. How can I? How can I be of assistance to you? I see some problems with your skin. How can I help you? I see your hairline is falling off. How can I assist you? I think, how can I do us? What do you mean? I carry solutions with me. Can we sit down and we talk about it a little bit more? I come from, I come from Dino Lab with 800 products on the table. I'm sure there's something in your diet we can talk about or in your agricultural space, on your facials or on your hair or on your dining room, your kitchen and your food. I think there's some solutions that we need to be talking about. Have you heard anything about organic foods and organic products that improve the quality of life? Junk in, junk out. The nation is on its way to the hospital. 800,000 have arrived already. And another 250,000 are on their way out there. Can we shorten your trip for going to the doctor, please? <laughs> Zacchaeus, where did you put him? Is a question. Where did you put him? Lazarus, where did you put him? It's a question you need to start answering. Some of you are my age mates and slightly getting older than me. You better start answering that question more seriously. Because you're not getting younger. Where did you put your money? You are still poor. Where? Where are your dreams? Where is your passion? Where is your vision? Where is Lazarus? I want somebody on there. And when you get to where Lazarus is, my friend is here, Dr. Mshalika. Come, just say hello out there. Good friend of mine. There. Come, 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 Chief. Come, Chief, and sit somewhere here. Come, through. I love him. I love him. Bring him a chair, please. Bring him a chair. 
you will, you will conclude when I'm done. Take a, take a seat there. Where did you put Lazarus? And they say, here is Lazarus. You didn't hear the next part that is beautiful. And he says to them, remove the stone. Come on, somebody. What must we do? Listen to me, good people. Even God cannot remove stones. Huh? Remember the other morning when, when, when Mary Magdalene and were running to the grave? What was their problem? Who will remove the stone for us? Because in as much as you believe in God, the God of the heavens does not waste time removing stones that you've put for yourself. You don't go about blocking and making it difficult for God and you want to pray. You say, please Lord, can you help me? Where did you put him? He is here. And he gets there and says, your job. Get involved in changing your situation. Come on. Get involved in changing your situation. Your perceptions, your views, your ideas. Some of you, it is more serious. You may even need to change your religion. Because your religion right now is holding you to poverty. I mean, how do you read, uh, uh, Shalik? How does the, how do these people read? Because the other day I bumped on Moses, and then the the Lord says to Moses, hey, "Tell my people to go." And then uh, Pharaoh is is, is told, we, "We want to go," and Pharaoh says, "You can go, but leave your children and leave your cows and etc. You can go and worship there, but leave wealth, <laughs> leave." <laughs> Leave the world. And there are some who are only too happy. We have been given permission to worship the Lord in truth and in spirit. There is no worship when you are poor. And the Lord says to Moses, uh -uh. Tell him, we will go with our women. Hello somebody. We will go with our old people. We will go with our children. And with our cattle. And while you are at it, Tell the Israelites to go back to the people and tell them to give you the gold. And the Lord says, I will make you favorable as you are collecting the gold. Only when they collected the gold did the Lord allow them. <laughs> so don't tell me you're a Christian if you don't have cows. <laughs> if you don't have a wife. <laughs> You're not a Christian. If you don't have children, you're not a Christian. But the most interesting one, if you don't have the gold. Where are you going? We're going to the house of the Lord. To do what? Change your thinking. Are you with me out there? What must you do? Change the thinking. Where did you put him? Here. Remove the stone. It took the same. And by the way, there are some people who will assist you to put stones on your tombs. You never discovered that. People actually become friends of poverty. But we're in this together. There is some companionship in poverty. People become friends in poverty. What? How are you? What are you? It's tough. Not me too. It's tough. Even my side also. It's equally tough. This one says my back and me diabetes also. And people share poverty and they massage each other over pains of inability and non-achievement and they'll help you to put a stone Fuck! close the grave out there let Moses rot there come on somebody out there there's a voice this morning remove the stone and people have to do that hear the preacher Lazarus come forth you didn't hear it 
even if the word can be spoken, if the doors are closed, there's nothing that will happen. <laughs> Create access so that when words come to you, they can resurrect something inside you. They can wake you up in terms of your conscience. And I love the passage. Mishalika, Lazarus stands up, but there's a problem. He has woken up. <laughs> Lazarus is bandaged from his eyes, can't see, his ears, can't hear. His mouth can't speak. He's rolled up in bandages. There's life inside him, but he's immobilized. Come on, somebody out there. Unbundle yourself. Yes. Come on, tell your neighbor. Unbundle. I don't know what it is that you've wrapped yourself around with. What is it that has immobilized you? What is it that has rendered you non functional? Alive, but useless. Another item again. It is not God's business to unbundle people. You who are bundling him. Hey. You are the one who raped this man up. I, this is where I come in. Because some of you are beyond helping yourself. You need third parties like us. Who come around and say, hello young lady. You can make it. Come on. Get away from this thing here. And he's unbundled. My mind never stops running, by the way. And when he's unbundled, he is present but naked. Because that's where the truth is. On another day, I might want to do a humor show actually and discuss the story of Lazarus as to those who had started sharing his clothes. You know, when people die at funerals. <laughs> <laughs> when you die, people start discussing what are we going to do with the hairpiece. This one says it's mine. And the other one says, Me, I'll take the Peruvian one. The other one says, Me, I'll take the Brazilian. And there's that four days is a long time. Four days is a long time. They had already distributed the clothes amongst themselves. And here Lazarus wakes up. Hey, but no. You missed the humor, you guys, man. You guys are too serious for my liking. Are you aware, guys, in life, there are other people who are never happy to see you come back to life? Oh, come on, put your hands together there. There are people, when they hear that Lazarus has woken up. Now, the gin that I had asked before, the cobra that I had already taken in the jacket, and now Lazarus is woken up. He wants his jacket. They don't know whether to stay, to look at Lazarus or run away. And when Lazarus comes back, of course, he's a horror. He's like, bye, 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 Not everyone is excited to see your resurrection. Don't worry about your enemies. They're not worth your time. You know, there are some people who love you when you are poor. Uh, so, hello, how are you? Uh, uh, uh. It, it, because they feel good when they know that you are still at their level or slightly below their level. So they massage themselves with your troubles. So they come around to cry with you, not to cry with you, but just to compare themselves and feel slightly better. Now when they hear that that man you put behind the grave, he has woken up. <laughs> Lazarus is wide awake and Lazarus is now moving. He missed the best part of the passage. Give him something to eat. Start feeding those habits that I'm resurrecting in your spirit today. Start spending time with good information that quickens your spirit. Because the fact that Lazarus has come up doesn't mean that he is not hungry. He last ate four days ago. And if you have common sense, some of you are 50, some of you are going 45, some of you are getting 30. You have already spent too much time 
before you can realize your full potential. But it will not happen automatically until you start to feed. Lazarus, give him something to eat. Give yourself something to eat. Feed yourself correctly. Mental diet is important. And Lazarus comes back to life. Lazarus is restored. You too, this morning, you can realize your full potential. As you begin to look at the things that have placed you where you are. What has made you what you are? Some of you are here because marriages have collapsed. You were running too much with your heart and you forgot where your head was. Now you two as women, you are now at half past with three children behind your back. It's not too late. You know what I'm talking about. I'm too fast for sometimes, but you can hear me. You don't know in some cases you know how you got into the situation. The question is, when you are now locked up in this situation, what is the process? Heaven only performs one miracle. It is the word. Come on. Did you catch it? The only miracle is the Lazarus. Come from. The rest of the miracles that happen on that passage is human participation to perform the miracle that you want God to perform. Yeah. Hear me here, you never hear me again. God will not perform a miracle. You are not prepared to participate to make it happen. Hey, I want my husband to become a Christian. You want your husband <laughs> to become a Christian. Good idea. Are you a Christian yourself? Are you prepared to do those things that will witness to this man <laughs> to become a Christian? Are you willing to stay until 1 a.m. when he's coming from the bar and then you wash his feet you feed him on warm water. You run a tub for him. You bath your drunkard man. You oil him up and keep him busy until 3 a.m. 4 a.m. Wake him up in the morning. Daddy, I'll see you again in the evening. And when he arrives at 1 a.m., still finds you waiting for him. If you are not willing to perform that miracle, he will never become what you want him to be. Because it takes human participation to achieve... The goals that you want. Lazarus, come forth. Remove the stones. Unwrap Lazarus. Give him something to eat. <laughs> Hello, guys. How many of you are normal? I said, how many of you are normal? All right, how many of you are surviving? How many of you are living? How many of you don't know what is happening? <laughs> All right, Mfundi Simaponga, thank you so much. Um, I spent time in some far land. And sometimes we enjoy it when you are far away. I understood this man very well when I read his book, Find Your Truth. When I was telling you I was in Dubai, I was reading this every day. Find your truth. And uh, I just realized that a lot of us, uh, I'm including myself with you now, a lot of you are not even aware of who you are apart from your gender and your name. And that is why every single year you have one achievement, change of age. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm another one. 
No, 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 no. Uh, as iron sharpens iron. <laughs> so I realized that a lot of people actually don't live. They just exist. Now, Professor Bishop Dr. Maponga has said a lot of things, but at a very high level. And my job is to bring them at lower level. Because a lot of you have remained very excited up there. And when he has left, you find yourself landing exactly where you had left. <laughs> and we might meet again next year and you'll be worse than what you are this year. <laughs> Unless I do what I'm about to do. Now, Joshua and I are very good friends. When I'm in Harare, I always tell him, bro, I'm in Harare. Then he tells me, I'm seeing you at breakfast. Then I tell him, sorry, I'm back in Lusaka. I flew back last evening. So we behave like that. This time around, we were lucky. He called me last night. No, this morning. I said, I'm at Pomos. I said, how do you land in my land without my permission? He says, who are you? So I said, all right. <laughs> I'll see you there. <laughs> okay. You are so fortunate to have this son of Africa who has a mixture of what you think is education and what you think is religion. And he also has what is true. So he speaks certain things which offend people who have not crossed to the other side of true living, but have continued to live a life. Deception through school and deception through church. And a lot of you seated before me here are highly deceived adults. <laughs> <laughs> highly deceived adults and because the deception is so deep it has become almost genetic you freely pass on your deception to your children and your children's children so we continue to live in a continent where the missionary who brought the gospel has 1000 hectares of land 25 fish ponds, 1,000 dairy cows, a garden which is evergreen, an orchard which always has fruit, and the converted evangelist has a 15 by 15 plot, <laughs> hoping to have God in heaven. <laughs> so you are spiritually insane. <laughs> yeah. You are spiritually insane. We need to get to a certain level. So let's now conclude. And the conclusion of this whole presentation is how seven ways to come forth. Seven ways to do what? Because the, the message is Lazarus do what? Come forth. So we need to find the steps. How do I come forth? And the very first thing that I want to talk about is I want you to understand that the essence of living is achieving financial freedom. Okay? The essence of living is achieving what? Financial? Because if you are a Christian or a Muslim or whoever you are, you believe you were created. Now, whoever that creator is, is a creator of purpose. And so in your being created, he also put your purpose of living. And many human beings have missed it because they don't understand their purpose. They are proud to contain the image of the creator. And they are not worried about losing the content of being the creature. So you are a container with wrong content. <laughs> it's like I drink this water. <laughs> you see, can, I have, can I have this bottle? <laughs> Someone went to buy water and said, Give me aqua clear. Give me aqua? Yeah. And the person selling looked at the bottle and said, Aqua clear is this one. But the person buying was buying the content. But the content was identified by the container. <laughs> <laughs> now, once this commodity was brought here, 
The consumer has been taking it. What is finishing is the content. Wow, the container maintains its same status. When this content is finally finished, we will have an empty container still written aqua clear. Even when we replace water with urine, it will still be. <laughs> Even when we put petrol, it will still be written, Aqua clear. Then the Bible says, and then the Lord in the beginning created the heaven and the earth. And then he began to put resources together. Let there be this, and he saw that it was good. Let there be this, he saw that it was good. Let there be this, he saw that it was good. Finally, everything was done except his replica. And when it came to his replica, he never said, let there be. He did a project and he made a statement of intent, which many of you don't have. You just wake up without a statement. And now, let us make man. And then he described the man. Appearance in our image. Characteristics after our likeness. Purpose, let them have dominion in which areas of life fish of the sea birds of the air and over all creeping creatures and all the earth so you are a creature of description a creature of identity and a creature of purpose the moment you are in a hurry to go to heaven before you understand your purpose you are not even fit for us. <laughs> All right? <laughs> now, there's something I want you to hear here. When God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness, the purpose of man's existence is economic management. You are created to manage the economy. That's all. Go to God and ask him, why did you create me? He will tell you, to manage the economy in the form of the following industries. Fish, birds, animals, and everything else. That's what you are created for. I thought today when I find you in church very busy wishing you were a bed. Where do you want to fly to when there's a job to do here? Where do you want to fly to? Where do you want to go to when there's a job here? Now, when you look at the Bible throughout, you will discover that God remains very consistent with this message. He comes to his people and tells them, the Lord will grant you abundant prosperity. And he mentions the areas of prosperity. In the fruit of your womb, Joshua said, if you're a Christian and you have no children, question mark. Number two, in the fruit of the womb of your livestock. If you're a Christian and you have no livestock, what are you looking after? Number three, in the fruit of the ground, your ground must produce. Then he talked about participation. And he says, the Lord will open his good treasure, the heaven, to give you rain at the right time. Next statement, he will bless the work of your hands. In the absence of your hands involvement, there are no blessings. And today I see insane Christians in front of the church praying for blessings through song with hands not involved. Kneeling on resources and asking for God for help. Overnight prayers on minerals. <laughs> and a Chinese who worships a stick comes to mine where you are needing. Are you normal? No. Then the Lord says, guys, 
When I have blessed the work of your hands, you will lend to many nations. You will not borrow. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You will be on the ascendance always and never declining. Now, if you want to know that the Bible is consistent, go and read Jeremiah 28 and Jeremiah 29. Jeremiah 28, the, the Israelites are in captivity. And like you, they are feeling the pinch of economic hardship and poor leadership. Then a prophet rises and says, Guys, the Lord has spoken to me. You are not here long. You are not here? Very soon we are going. Actually, two years we are going. And the Israelites celebrated. Yes, yes, yes. Remove this yoke that Jeremiah has made. Let's make a wooden one. Because very soon we are going. Go to Jeremiah 29. The Lord comes to Jeremiah and says, That prophet is not telling the truth. You are in Babylon for a long time. Go and tell the Israelites. Jeremiah 29 verse 5. Build houses and occupy them. Plant gardens and eat the fruit. Marry wives, bear children. Let your sons marry. Let your daughters get married. Increase in that land. Do not decrease. Pray for that city. So that when it is prospering, you too may prosper. Conclusion. I know the plans that I have for you. Now you when you hear that. Me. <laughs> what do these people read? <laughs> he read. <laughs> he read. So, economic freedom is the reason why I created. Let me summarize how to come forth. Understand this. When God made man in his image and after his likeness, he was putting man in the world which he had described as very good. How would man enjoy this world? He gave man his senses. He gave man what? Senses. Sense of hearing, sense of feeling, sense of sight, sense of taste. Senses. Do you know what the senses are for? They are for accessing the beautiful things of the world. Hear me. Your eyes are not for body viewing. Your eyes are for going to the Victoria Falls at its peak. Look at how the water is coming down. And as you watch that water, you go down in praise. Oh Lord my God. When I know someone consider the works thy hands have made. I see the stars. I hear the rolling thunder. I work throughout the universe this place. When your ears are exposed to beauty, your eyes see beauty. You eat tasty food. Your toilet smells good. You have perfume on your body. Then you can walk and say, Then sings my song, my Savior goes to How great I When your senses are offended, there is nothing good you can see. When your senses are offended, there is nothing in this world. If your eyes cannot see the beauties God created, if you cannot take your ears to sweet sounds, if your mouth cannot take in tasty foods, if you cannot smell good and be in a good smelling environment, you walk into church and say, Papa, 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 But there's something I want to hear. Why is it difficult to please the senses? Because all things that please the senses cost money. Many of you have never been to the Vic Falls physically. 
You have only seen it in the Atlas. <laughs> and on TV. Because you can't travel there. You have never been to Sanfia Beach. You have never been to Kafio National Park. You have never been. You have never been. You are confined in the grave of the living. Surrounded by things that offend the senses. Yes. And so when you cry that Jesus comes because we have suffered too much, some of us begin to wonder, is he going to come for some than us? <laughs> now, hear me. The question you should ask is, how do I reach a level, how do I reach a level of attaining financial freedom and open the doors to the things that will please my senses. Don't be a survivor. No, let's say a few bottles so that we pay school fees. Let's say a few bottles so that we can, we can pay rent. Let's say a few bottles. A few bottles so that that's God life. You are living to eat, drink, sleep, and reproduce. That's not life. You must aim to become big and enjoy life. The question is, how do you reach there? Lazarus, come. Now, I want to tell you how you reach there, and I'll be very quick. These steps, you must follow them. Marry them with Joshua's presentation. This is the action part of the church he has given. Step number one, if you want your life to change, step number one, conduct a personal situation analysis. Here we are a group. I want you to become personal, okay? Conduct a personal what? Situation analysis. In other words, ask yourself hard questions which make you very uncomfortable. Ask yourself hard questions. Look at yourself in your mirror and ask the question, how is my life? Am I happy with it? Are you happy with the way you live? Are you okay with being what you are? Go to your house today, stand outside, look at it, and tell yourself, when I tell people I have gone home, this is where I come. <laughs> Let me make it a bit worse. <laughs> Go to your bedroom. Look at your bed. Invite your wife and ask a question. This is where we sleep. Is this suitable for adults of our age? <laughs> if you were to get so sick in that bed and your church mates make a visit, would you allow them to freely walk into your bedroom? Oh, you'll be one of those who says, Bauze, ni buena kwa mene uko. Neza kwa nisa. You know what? You might ask a question and say, but why do that? Hear me. There is a principle in life. Pain produces change. Pain produces? As long as you remain comfortable on that bed which looks like some nest. As long as you are okay with your children, three of them sharing a single blanket. As long as you are okay with offering a prayer over a meal of okra and other things. And lying to God that you are so happy for this nice food. Even when you know there is no food in front of you. As long as you are happy with that. There is no motivation to come forth. What made Jesus call Lazarus? There was pain in the environment. There was pain in the environment. Even Jesus wept. Pain produces change. If Jesus had found a smiling mother, a smiling Mary, a happy community, Lazarus would have remained the rate because there was no pain to demand coming forth. 
Is there pain in your life? Do you feel it? You are a church elder who announces the time for offering and offers nothing. When the plate passes near you, you give it a very clear sign, I am not normal. There is no person here. <laughs> Let it go to the next person. Without financial freedom, there is no freedom. Without financial freedom, there is no freedom. And that is why you can be independent for 58 years politically and still slaves 58 years later. You only have a national anthem and a flag. The people who own the country have the money. Yeah, and that's why even singing the national anthem, you feel so bad. Stand up, singles. <laughs> when you reach the way to proud, you even ask, is it true? <laughs> so, step number one to coming forth, conduct a personal situation what? Analysis. Ask yourself hard questions. Step number two. Once you have asked yourself those hard questions, then you now go to the second statement. Project your life as you would want it to be. Project your life as you would want it to be. Ask yourself sincere questions. What is my dream life? What kind of life do I want? I'm not saying what kind of life does Zambia want. I'm asking you at a personal level, what kind of life do you want? You. Yourself. You. What kind of life do you want? In doing that, you are resurrecting one faculty which many people don't use. It is called the power of imagination. The power of what? The power of imagination. The ability to create mental images of the life you want. The ability to create mental pictures. Go home and stand outside. And your wife should see you pointing around. This is, what's the problem? They say, no, I'm wondering where we should be parking the tractor. Is it here? <laughs> or there? Let Mom Dara come home and find you looking around the house. What's the issue? I'm looking for a suitable place for a storeroom for my products. <laughs> I'm wondering which things we should move here. Power of imagination. Why? Because you cannot go anywhere physically if you have not been there mentally. You cannot go anywhere physically if you have not been there mentally. Because by make, you are a creature of God's imagination. And to be useful, you must resurrect imagination. So don't be a person who just carries a head which imagines nothing. Just moving around carrying a head which has carried ears and eyes. No imagination. I was speaking, I think my next owner is my very good friend. Many years ago, I was speaking at University Church. And over lunch, I don't even know if he can remember. Over lunch, Manex came to me and said, you and Joshua need to meet. Do you remember that? Many years ago. You and Joshua need to meet. Then I said, look, I have only seen Joshua on some clips. I don't know how to meet him. They said, no, no, no. But you two share the same message. So you have to meet. He planted that seed and my imagination remained alive. It remained alive. It remained alive. Today, I just walk in this hall. Joshua says, give him a seat in front. Because imagination must become reality. In your life, what kind of things do you imagine? Always remember that whatever you imagine will never deceive you. It will come true. Those of you who see yourself as a very poor adult, that's what you'll be. You are a prophet of your own future. Number three. 
Once you have projected, remember Lazarus come forth. We are now going step by step. Number three, how do I get out? Number three, list your skills and resources needed to achieve your dream. List your skills and the resources needed to achieve your dream. And Joshua has talked a lot about this. Money, here. Product, here. Human resource, here. Target, sick people. <laughs> your formula is so simple. It is already done. Now I want you to hear me. In this world, all money is hidden behind the skills. All money is hidden behind? Skills. That is why your school system, this British system, came here to de-school you, miseducate you, and make you some useless dependent on the thinkers. You are carrying a lot of rubbish in your head, and you are a certified fool with a lot of degrees, which cannot be used for anything. I mean, <laughs> guys, you think you are educated. Let me ask you questions. It's a very simple quiz. What is the longest river in Africa? No, very good. Who was Shaka's mother? Very good. Okay. <laughs> Any number multiplied by zero equals? Very good. He ran faster than his brother. Begin his brother. <laughs> Now, so you go to school, put away all skills, and your mind is loaded with things not necessary for you. You can define photosynthesis, you can label an insect, you know all capital cities in the world, but you are irrelevant to yourself. And today I see adults going back to school to go and study RIE at master's level. Late maturing varieties. Look. <laughs> Look. <laughs> to change your life, you need skills. And in this audience, what skill is the most important? Marketing skills. Marketing skills. Become a master at marketing, ability to handle rejection, ability to negotiate, ability to communicate effectively, ability to go for a win-win, ability to look like losing when you are winning. You, you need to develop those skills. So list your skills. What made Jesus succeed in this world was the skills. Skills! Today, you have doctors who are tenants of carpenters. Because the person with the skill is more intelligent than the person with the theory. And when I tell people, improve your life, I am talking about skills, skills, skills. Develop your skills. When we talk about resources, where will the money come from? Plenty. If you need the capital for whatever, go and count the number of shoes you have. Sell those you don't need. Remember, you only have two feet. Okay. <laughs> if in your village there are antios, go and make bricks, burn them, sell them. That's your capital. You want to start baking? Go and sell your excess saloon hair and buy flour. Resources are all over. That is why God always asks one question. Lord! I'm in trouble. Look at sinners. They are living better than us. Then he says, I hear you, my son. What did you have in your hand? <laughs> Lord, we are in trouble. Debtors are here to collect not only money, but also my children. Okay, CC, I hear you. What did you have in your house? Go and bring what you have to the God of multiplication. Begin with what you have and you make you big. And that's what is missing. The missionary never taught you this because it is very critical to life. Number four. Once you have listed your skills and resources, you go to number four. 
set clear and definite goals. Set clear and what? Definite goals. Set clear and definite goals. How does Jesus show us through the story? Jesus comes in the story and says, guys, our friend Lazarus is sleeping. Our friend Lazarus is what? Oh, if he's sleeping, that's okay. No, I mean he's dead. I am going there to wake him up. What was the goal? To wake him up. I am going to wake him up. Clear goal. Very clear goal. So set clear and definite goals. You, do you have the goals for the week for yourselves? Do you have the goals for the month for yourselves? Do you have the goals for the year? Do you have the goals for the next five years? What are your goals? Life is around goals. And the beautiful thing is that when it comes to goals, there's no competition. You begin where you are. Begin where you are. Begin where you are. I have written six books. Joshua has written how many? Fifteen books. We have different goals. Each one is celebrating where they are. So, set clear and definite goals. Number five. Let's finish those seven steps quickly. Once you have set your clear and definite goals, what is the next thing you need to do? Develop a clear activity plan. Develop a clear activity plan. You must have an activity plan. Why should you have an activity plan? Because we all have 24 hours per day. We all have what? Dangote, how many hours? Bill Gates, Maponga, Hichirema, your husband. <laughs> 24 hours each. Here's what makes a difference. Some of you wake up with nothing to do. So around nine hours, you are on the road. Mundala Moinka Guria, and that's in the road of home out. Vashuari Amrea Guisa, Nation Gurukafi, Nation Gurukafi, Nation Gurukafi. And you are not out with a beard and a body head. Ureshun Guruka. The women who are married to such. Peace be with you. You are in hell. <laughs> to have a husband who practices graveyard mentality while he's living. I wish you knew the future. <laughs> he only has energy on the backside. <laughs> you must develop a clear activity plan. I don't know where you are going from here, but here is the money. This money will only respond to clarity of activities. Here is a product. It will only move according to activity. Here is you. You are the mover of both the money and the product. The client will not be reached with people who have no activity. So you will never come forth until you do what I'm saying. So don't just go home and say, Mwereza, what Maponga was saying, let it happen to me. Then after that, you go in your bed. Lord, Mwanda, I've prayed and I've prayed. Nothing has happened. No. You are a living testimony of the abnormal who look normal. You are not supposed to be with us in the society of the normal. Okay? Yeah. You are not supposed to be with us. You belong to this hospital in the East. I can't even come to church where you are the elder. Because poverty and foolishness are infectious. In being close to you, I'm risking. Become normal. <laughs> Become normal. I don't live with risks. <laughs> Which look human. <laughs> Content, container without content. Wells without water. Clouds without rain. It's not me who said that. You say in the Bible, eh? Yeah, two whitewashed tombs with rotten bones inside. 
All this is referring to man being content and and contenter. Number five. Oh, number six. Number six. Now I'm moving the code because time is up. Number six. Once you have your activity plan, then you go to number six. State how you will measure your progress. State how you will measure your progress. This sounds very simplistic, but let me tell you, M and E, monitoring and evaluation, review, monitoring and evaluation, is so important that you must never ignore it. Always ask yourself simple questions. What did I plan to do today? Of the things I planned to do, how many have I achieved? Why didn't I achieve? What can I do better? Even in the Lord Jesus Christ, when he came to the world, before going back, he conducted M and E. Guys, come here. Who do people say that I am? No, you are Elijah, you are Johnny, you are Safutakans. Okay, you guys, who do you say that I am? You are the Christ, the Son of the. Well done, Peter. Well done, Peter. Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. And when Pentecost came, it was Peter who preached because he passed the evaluation. Okay, we'll talk about that another day. You, you cannot be in the front if you can't see the behind. You need to look back. And number seven, the last one. Once you have gone through this, remember your aim is financial freedom. Eh? So number seven. State how much money you intend to make in a given period. State how much money you intend to make in a given period. State how much money you intend to make in a given period. So, Vasa, good news for you. It is you to decide how much money you want to make out of this business. It is you to decide how much money you want to register in your account at the end of six months, at the end of 12 months, at the end of 15 months. It is you to make that decision. Lazarus, are the seven steps clear? Are they helping you see how to come forth? Are you going to begin acting on them? Joshua, I've summarized, I'm done. Put your hands together as you look at the speaker. Let's give him a day and celebration. A day left. Oh. One more time. One last one. Yeah. Thank you, Joshua. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be leaving you. Okay. I was not part of the plan. But I hope you enjoyed being with me. I enjoyed being with you. Uh, I'll make an announcement illegally. For those of you who want to combine things and do a lot of things, we have a beekeeping and chili production conference at the new government complex on 25th September 2022 from 13 hours to 17. 25th September, is that clear? Uh, let me give you my number for those who would want to get details. 0977894045. Just WhatsApp me details about Chile Production Conference. I'll give you the details. Is that clear? Thank you and good luck. Be blessed. One more time, one hand for Dr. Mujalika. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. He's a wonderful, wonderful man, and thank you very much for being with us. Sorry for hijacking your program, but uh, I think uh, uh, all things have worked together. Thank you very much. We'll talk, we'll talk later on here. Yeah. Uh, on the books that I have written, First Come, First Serve, I want to just share with you while we're waiting for the minister. For the last few moments left, I have this one here. So you're under the master. I've going places in the spirit. I found your truth. 
of women in the kitchen, of shopping skills, uh, and many others like uh, African questions and African solutions, and the list goes on. Here is the conclusion of the matter. Take a piece of paper and put this on a piece of paper. Quickly, quickly. The software I'm sharing with you right now is found in the book uh, uh, So You Want to Be the Master. So here's the conclusion of the matter. Number one, first things first, we call this the envelope of success. What do you call it? The envelope of success. What do you call it? This is how we open the stone. This is how we move the stone. And I'm just building on what the professor had already said. Number one, how many lines are here? How many lines are there? If you failed in high school and primary school, please keep your mouth closed. How many lines are here? There are six lines. All right, and how many spaces? Four spaces. So line number one, line number two, line number three, Line number four, line number five, and line number six. Is that fine? And how many spaces? Draft a copy like this in front of your bed, next to your bed, and put your mind here every day, and your life will never be the same. Line number one, first things first. First things Let's go together. First things, start doing things correctly. What you must begin with, begin with. Don't jump processes. Don't get pregnant and look for a husband after that. It becomes difficult. First things, first, do your business correctly. Think correctly. Plan correctly. Register correctly. Get correct training. Do things the right way. Do not be in the habit of always cutting corners. First things. One more time, tell neighbor. First things. Number two. Build solid foundations. Let's go together. Build solid foundations. Academic foundations, training foundations, know what this is founded on. Establish yourself. Plan your success on a solid foundation. Then you can duplicate the cycle of success. Don't take chances. Build for yourself solid information foundations. Don't take emojis and think that's a solid foundation for a marriage. Marriages are not maintained by emojis. You are going to wash plates. You are going to wash. You are going to plant. You are going to harvest. You are going to iron. You are going to do garden. You are going to build houses. You are going to be busy. So don't practice taking pictures and taking selfies. And you think that marriage will last because you can take a good selfie. Build for yourself solid foundation. One more time. Number one. Come on, come on, guys. You don't fail in my class. Number one. Number two. Number three. Understand your limitations. Understand your... Remember where your limitations begin. That's where other people's expertise begin also. You need to know what you are good at and you need to know what you are not good at. Understand your limitations. Is English your limitation? Is mobility your limitation? Is finance your limitation? Shyness your limitation? Embarrassment your limitation? What is it that limits you 
from breaking free from the cycle of poverty. Number one, after me. Come on, guys, come on, guys. Number one. Number two. Number three. I was doing some work for the Reserve Bank in South Africa. How much are we going to pay you? I got them the invoice. So how do we pay you? They asked me. I said, hey, for the first time, since I'm doing the Reserve Bank, you guys, you are the ones who print money and photocopy it. I am not going to ask for a check. I want it in cash. They put my 80,000 in a briefcase and they gave me 80,000 in my hand. Ah! And I put it in the boot of my car and I drove home. And I said, for the first time in my life, I'm not going to put this money in a credit card. I put it on my wardrobe in my house. When everyone had fallen asleep at night, I pulled the briefcase. I just wanted to treat myself away from poverty and feel what it feels like. You don't understand, Chief. You don't understand. This one, you don't understand how it feels to sleep to sleep here with eighty thousand here, and it's not going anywhere. You must see me the following morning when I was going to town. I did not have a car then. I just had an accident with my car, so I was using public transport. But you must see me going on public transport with eighty thousand at home, even the step was not of a poor man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm serious, guys. There is something that money does to you. True or false? True or false? So I get to the taxi rank, the rich young ruler, and I sit in a taxi there, four or five people are in a taxi, and the taxi is not full, and I tell the driver of the taxi, please, can you proceed? I'll pay for the other few seats. <laughs> Success will never come to you on a platter. Learn to work. If you fail, do it again. If you fail, do it again. Ask me how I talk to myself when I fail. I've just found one method that doesn't work. Oh, you missed it. When you get it wrong, tell yourself, this method does not, I'll do it again. Be, be careful. Once I find a method that works, don't go changing. I stay right there with the method that works. And then you can do it again and again. And before you notice it, you begin to gather confidence. Do you think some of us were born able to talk like this? Hey. But when you begin to Repeat it and repeat it again. Sooner or later, you get in the groove of things. Now, when you look at my logo in my company, Farmers of Thought, Speaker Maponga J, take line at the bottom. For every voice, there's an invoice. <laughs> Once you hear my voice, somebody gotta pay, somebody gotta pay, but it takes time. To reach the rhythm of making success stories. Learn to cope with failure. And number last, learn to cope with success. Learn to cope with this one's going down, this one is going up. When some people get successful, then they lose themselves. They become reckless, they become careless, they take things for granted. And before you notice it, the same success that put you up will drop you to the ground again because you have not mastered how to cope with failure as much as you cope with success. Hear me in conclusion. Section A, you look after your physical health. 
Health is wealth. Without good health, even the rich man is poor. You cannot be a good salesman if you are a sick person. Are you with me? Look after your... Be healthy. Come and tell your neighbor, be healthy. Come on, guys, be healthy. Walk, exercise, train, be healthy. A sick person is not a good business person. Look after your physical health. Number B. Look after your mental health. Develop your thinking. Develop your skills. Develop the quality of information that you have. Grow your mind. <laughs> Grow your mind. Read books. The richest men in Babylon. Read books. Think rich and grow rich. Read, read books. Rich dead, poor dead. Read books. Who moved my cheese? Read books. Develop your mind. It will give you the solid foundation. Number three. Grow your spirituality. Huh? Come on, guys. Grow your... I don't care whether you believe in God, you believe in Allah, you believe in Gotrat, you believe in a tree, you believe in ancestors, or you believe in putting on soft belts so that you don't fall. I don't care what you believe in. But find, find your spiritual connection. Ask me why. Ask me why. Because when you are physically and mentally weak, strength always comes from your spiritual connection. Develop your spiritual connection. And number last, develop a healthy social network. Develop a healthy Can I give you a tagline? Can I give you a hashtag? Convert your conduct into contract. Oh. Guys are slow, man. You guys are slow, man. Come on. Pick up the speed. Convert your contact into contract. Have a healthy social network. This is where business happens. Take note. How many things must you take care of? One, two, three. By the time you are meeting us here, you are physically, you are, you are, then you can meet us at social gatherings. And you know that this person who is meeting with us, they can start their business on time. They can build solid foundations. They understand their limitations. They have clear goals in mind. They are on their way to success. When they fail, it's not enough. And we are ready to begin to socialize with the community. This is the quality of mind that I want all of us to have. First come, first serve. I have a few books that you can pick up for yourselves. May the good Lord bless you all. Shall we all stand? Shall we all stand? Shall we all stand? Let me pray for you. Let me pray for you. But my prayers are different. Don't close your eyes. Let me close your eyes. I'll make declarations. May the good Lord bless you. You say amen. If you, May the good Lord bless you. May he cause you to rise. May he bless you in your going. May he bless you in your coming. Wherever your feet touch, may you be blessed. May he bless your children. May he bless your husbands. May he bless all your businesses. May he cause you to prosper. May the sun be gentle on you. May the rain fall gently on your crops. May you always be heads and not be tails. May he give you visions in the night. And may he rise and raise you to become a mighty person. May the God of heaven bless you and bless you abundantly. Amen. Give yourself a round of applause. Uh -uh. Give yourself a round of applause. This one was for me. One for you.
This one is for the organization. Thank you very much. Ten of them. Ten of them. You couldn't have just missed this occasion. You couldn't have just missed it. Fire, fire, fire! Maponga, fire! Dynalab, fire! Thank you so, so much for that inspiration and motivation. I think all of us have learned one or two things from what we have just heard. So to uh, Professor Bishop Dr. Joshua Maponga, Thank you very, very much for that informative talk. We also like to thank Professor Joseph Musha Lika, although he has left. I think he also left us with one or two things that we can learn from. At this moment in time, as we're waiting for the minister to walk in, he's just um, will be walking in very soon. So we can stand up and stretch and stretch around, then get back to, to our seats. Just stand wherever you are and do some stretching. We are not saying you should go outside. Pembers, please no, help please us. Don't go inside. I'll get Pembers, help, help us. us. Don't go outside, yeah, please. Organic plus. Folia we just say you stand up, you relax, one stretch one yourself. Folia fertilizer is brought to you with the compliments of Dynalab International Zambia Limited. Why do I grow, you may ask? Well, it improves productivity by 70% and increases yields by 30 to 300%. So, buy DI Grow. Every happy and profit-oriented farmer knows that bumper harvests come from a combination of workable solutions. We, as Dynalab International Zambia Limited, bring to you sustainable and cost-effective proven smart innovations of our time that seek to solve challenging equations of farming as a business. If you have been looking for products that significantly increase crop yields, reduce cold stress, enhance crop growth and productivity, enhance flowering and fruiting, improves crop immunity, depress soil bone diseases, prolong shelf life of vegetables, fruits and cut flowers, and improve soils. DI Grow Foliar Fertilizer speaks to all these and is all every farmer needs. For more details, contact the agronomist on 0977 405531 or front office on 0211 or visit Dynalab main office at plot number 26, Joseph Muller Road, Roadsback, Lusaka. Achieve a bumper harvest with DI Grow. Have you ever thanked a green leaf for the food it produces to feed nations and continents? Dynalab International Zambia Limited, a partner with farmers, brings to you DI Grow, organic plus foliar fertilizers and biopesticides for the improvement of both macro and micro soil nutrients, depression of soil borne diseases, quick root development and growth, robust vegetative growth, enhanced flowering and fruiting, control of fall armyworms, tuta absoluta, and many other important pests, 70% productivity. High income from sustainable yields able to cover average costs per hectare. For more details, visit Dynalab International Zambia Limited at plot number 26 Joseph Mulo Road or contact the agronomist at 0977-405-531 or front office at 0211-232-377. Use DI Grow and thank the green leaf. DI Grow. Organic Plus Foliar Fertilizer, your number one eco-friendly fertilizer, is brought to you with the compliments of Dynalab International Zambia Limited. Why DI Grow, you may ask? Well, it improves productivity by 70% and increases yields by 30 to 300%. So, buy DI Grow. Every happy and profit-oriented farmer knows that bumper harvests come from a combination of workable solutions. We, as Dynalab International Zambia Limited, bring to you sustainable and cost-effective proven smart innovations of our time that seek to solve challenging equations of farming as a business. 
If you have been looking for products that significantly increase crop yields, reduce cold stress, enhance crop growth and productivity, enhance flowering and fruiting, improves crop immunity, depress soil bone diseases, prolongs shelf life of vegetables, fruits and cut flowers, and improves soils, DI Grow Foliar Fertilizer speaks to all these and is all every farmer needs. For more details, contact the agronomist on 0977 40 5531 or front office on 0211 or visit Dynalab main office at block number 26, Joseph Muller Road, Roadspark, Lusaka. Achieve a bumper harvest with DI Grow. Have you ever thanked a green leaf for the food it produces to feed nations and continents? Dynalab International Zambia Limited. A partner with farmers brings to you DI Grow, organic plus foliar fertilizers and biopesticides for the improvement of both macro and micro soil nutrients, depression of soil borne diseases, quick root development and growth, robust vegetative growth, enhanced flowering and fruiting, control of fall armyworms, tuta absoluta, and many other important pests. 70% productivity. High income from sustainable yields able to cover average costs per hectare. For more details, visit Dynalab International Zambia Limited at plot number 26 Joseph Mulo Road. Or contact the agronomist at 0977 405 531 or front office at 0211 232 377. Use DI Grow and thank the green leaf. DI Grow. Organic Plus Foliar Fertilizer, your number one eco-friendly fertilizer, is brought to you with the compliments of Dynalab International Zambia Limited. Why DI Grow, you may ask? Well, it improves productivity by 70% and increases yields by 30 to 300%. So, buy DI Grow. Every happy and profit-oriented farmer knows that bumper harvests come from a combination of workable solutions. We, as Dynalab International Zambia... And including the worker, the worker mentioned something like this. The worker said, Ah, Bangdala, kwanja kwanu kwa And then I just looked at this worker and said, Little... Do you know that? It's not my hand, actually. What has made the crop to germinate so well is the tea, how much better than it was last year. Such that I was, I'm now able to not only feed my family, but I was able to share. I have now enough to even share with my other colleagues and workmates. So this is the testimony that I have for Dehyde Grow. And today I learned something very important. I thought the DI Grow was only for crops, but then I have colleagues who are involved in uh, fish farming and uh, they did testify that DI Grow can also be used to feed the fish. And also there's uh, another colleague who taught me something to say that even uh, those that are keeping chickens, they can use Dehygro. So Dehygro is a very good product. Dehygro, not number one. You're not getting it right. Super. Yet we must have qualified by saying it's super number one. Dehygro, super. Do I grow? Super. Thank you so much. Tiny Farm. Dana Farm, we really have to thank you, sir, for entrusting into Dana products. Our products are not a fluke. Dana Farm, our products are not a fluke. They have proven many times that they are genuine and real and profitable products. Those of us who are using products, we're not just selling the products to the people. We are, not, we are also the consumers. Those of us who are taking these products, we can testify how much these products have helped our, our health and also of our families because we want our families to be healthy and that's why we are also using them ourselves. So we are not selling products that we don't use. Even us ourselves, we use them. Dynafarm? 
Dyna Farm, at this moment in time, I will ask the technician, Mr. Moses, to play something on the, as we are removing this Dyna thing here, somebody can come and help me to remove it, so that Mr. Moses can come and play something. He's ready. Okay, so Mr. Moses, you can just hold on. I'm told the minister is ready. I think it's fine. It's, it's fine. I think uh, the minister is ready. Dana Farm? Dana Farm? What's up, Belan Jaramani? You know, I'm going to win and wear some of my. Eh? Yes, it out there at Eh? Now, now I am aware of my Samaug. Eh? Some of it are Jarai. Ah, wonderful. Wonderful. So, your father has a child. That child is neither your mother, your sister, nor your brother. Who is that child? Confused members. Your father has a child. That child is neither your sister nor your brother. Who is that child? Thank you. At this moment in time, we'll ask the audience to rise as we will come the minister. Let's give him a dynamic welcome. We would like to recognize the presence of the Honorable Engineer Elias Mobanga MP, who is the Minister of Small and Medium Enterprise Development. So I know we did it early at the beginning of our program, but because he is um, a very special guest, we will have the National Anthem play again.
Thank you very much. We may take our seats. Honorable Minister, you're most welcome. The Minister is here acting on behalf of the Minister of Agriculture. Dynalab! Dynalab! The power of one! The power of one! Oh. Fire, 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 fire. Right now, we're just going to call upon our agronomist, Mr. Ngono, to come and share with us a few uh, words. As we all know, we recently uh, participated at the Agriculture and Commercial Show, where Dynalab walked away with four awards. Not one, not two, not three, but four awards. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the guest of honor, uh, the managing director of Denel International Zambia Limited, the country coordinator, the general manager, our keynote speaker, Bishop Maponga, uh, the founder and uh, the distributors, as well as our stakeholders in the business, the farmers, the agro dealers. I welcome you to this occasion. I wish to state that uh, we as Denelab have a special product meant for farming. It's a smart product. Traditionally, our farmers in this country use various fertilizers, particularly those of granular nature and of chemical uh, setting. But ours is special in that it is made out of uh, an Acadian seaweed with more than 12 nutrients, three natural growth promoting hormones as well as humic acid for improvement of the soil. Other than those fertilizers, we also have a biopesticide that uses bacteria to control pests. The bacteria is known as the Bacillus thuringiensis, and 67% of that product is that bacteria, and 33% are nutrients. So this is a special uh, smart insecticide that farmers can access and use while they are controlling pests. They can also feed the crop with with nutrients. We also have another product known as uh, DI Grow Bio 8. Other than having more than 12 nutrients, both macro and micro, it has three microbes. And these special microbes are meant to mobilize nutrients in the soil. When it is sprayed on the crop, the solution goes into the soil to mobilize all the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and bring it closer to the root uh, area for up, easy uptake. And we also spray it on the, 
on the leaves. Our products are cost effective because one liter of, of DI grow can cover an area of one hectare in a single spray at a very reasonable price. Now, what does it mean one liter in a, in a, in a hectare? That only uh, happens when the crop is at six weeks and that's affordable. We know that granular fertilizers that many governments in Africa depend upon are chemical and they destroy soil. Our friends in Europe, America, and perhaps in Asia have moved away from use of, chemical, uh, of chemicals in agriculture because the micro, microflora, the bacteria which is useful in terms of improvement of soil has been destroyed by use of chemicals. Therefore, Dynolab has come with materials that will not destroy soils but improve the soil. And so, the guest of honor, we wish to seek the indulgence of your office and through the President of the Republic of Zambia to try and work with Dynalab and many other companies that support smart agriculture, those that support agriculture that does not destroy or deteriorate the environment we would be more than willing to work with you to ensure that smallholder farmers medium scale farmers as well as commercial farmers in this country tap into this super super di grow and begin to see their yields leap di grow contributes about 70 percent productivity toward the yield and we would like to see our farmers begin to see and achieve the goals that they've set in terms of uh, what yields they intend to have and have uh, large gross margins of the farm and have enough income to scale up their production. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you very much for that information, Ms. Dangono. Right now, we're going to go to Malaysia. Do you see how international the company is? From Zambia, Lusaka, we're going to Penang, Malaysia, where we are going to receive a live message from Mr. Oi Hoi Choi himself. So we'll give the tech, a few, tech team a few minutes as they connect us to Malaysia. So we can hear what he has to say to us today. In the meantime, Dynalab! Dynalab! The power of one! Fire, fire, fire! Fire, fire, fire! Maponga, fire! Minister, fire! MD, fire! Country coordinator, fire! Fire, fire, fire! Kayaba fire! Mr. Luca fire! Father Pepula fire! Fire, fire, fire!
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I cannot hear. So, but I'm happy. I'm very happy today. I enjoy this function. Almost three years we had not seen each other because of this pandemic crisis. But believe me. Believe me, my heart, my love are always with you. And I pray that all you are very strong and healthy. Give yourself a big hand, come on. Because of these brothers, we see there are many factory closed down. And many people have lost their job. Even we lost some of our friends and our relatives. But today we are lucky. Today we are lucky because we can still come together to attend this award celebrity today. Thank you very much, Mr. Richard, and the team at every night for us to come together today. Mr. Richard, because of your hard work and your consistency to promote your business of Dana Farm and the belief in Dana Farm food supplement, in my heart, in my heart, many people have changed their life. And now I request all of you, please stand up. Please stand up. Give a big hand to Mr. Richard. I thank you so much for your commitment. Mr. Richard, thank you. Dear friend, now we have seen Mr. Richard and the team have shown you the way how to make yourself become stronger, healthy through our Dynafarm food supplement. And also through the networking business of Dynafarm, it can change your life. Now, all depend on you now, on your hand. Whether you want to change your life, with your friend, together with your family, people, through the Dynafarm networking business and through Dynafarm 
found us a work together to change our life. So your action or decision is very important before I'm waiting more people. And the opportunity don't come every time. So we work together to achieve our dream together. Can we do it together in Dharma? Can we do it together? Yes! Yes! I'm so sorry, I cannot hear, but I feel your action. I'm very happy. I need to respond to what I'm Democrat had been in Malaysia for more than four people and a very form of modern facility with ISO, GMP, and they received many international awards. And they produced some more food products, they produced food supplement. We produce household and skincare, we produce food products, and we produce our DI growth for society. And in our factory, we produce more than 1,000 products. And we have in house two modern laboratories, sophisticated and modern equipment to ensure that all our products are quality and they are safe to consume. And every year, our local authority, together with the foreign authorities, will come to inspect our factory to ensure that all the products meet the international standard and they are safe to consume. So, you can see now, our factory continues to grow and to continue to become bigger, especially at this moment. The pharmaceutical drug and food supplement, the demand is higher because of this COVID-19. And as we know, even if we have under our investing, we still might subject to affected by virus. So according to WHO, the only thing can help us, the only thing can help us to prevent this fire is through our own immune system. And today we are very, very lucky. We are lucky because in Dana Farm we have a series of food supplements that push up our immune system in the area to fight this virus, to make ourselves strong and healthy. Do you consume the food supplement of Dynafarm? Yeah, give a big hand for Dynafarm! Before I go more further, I know there are some people from Team Barbie. Can you raise up your hand, the people from Team Barbie? Oh, good! Welcome to the big family of Dynafarm! Welcome to Dynafarm, Team Barbie! I have been in a job here for many times. I still hope I still can go there very soon if this crisis can improve. And also maybe I can go over to the party. Good morning, how are you? And in the other farm, we continue to do our part. We continue to do our part to produce more food supplements with high quality and also we continue to expand our facility and to build a new building. In fact, we have just completed, we have just completed our bio plant, a bigger bio plant that can go over for the production for another 20 to 30 years. So as you see, Nine of us is a big international company. And our product has gone through to more than 70 countries, including USA. And for 
I will show you where Dynafarm is a strong and stable company. We can all the product from our own research and also from our own factory. And the price is stable and the supply also consistent, so we are not controlled by people. We are the one who manufacture from the product ourselves. And we are ensuring like, the quality of our product. I can see the evidence. That's why I can talk very hard. Can you find me? Can you see me? Can you see me? Yay! Good hand! In fact, the man who supports me. When you are sincere, you do your work, you are sincere, you are happy. This is how the life. The life to help each other, to make people happy, not to be only happy. We want all the people to be happy. Are you happy? Are you happy today? Yeah, we are happy today. And today, I take this opportunity to congratulate the people who received a award today. I hope you continue to work hard to achieve your dream and to share to more your friends. And once again, I'd like to thank Mr. Richard and the team for the commitment, for the hard work and consistency that built the business of Dana Farm in Zambia and Kumbhavi in Angola together. And I will continue to work with you to cooperate to you to make sure that Dana Farm, Zambia and Zimbabwe and Angola are going to stay and going to stay. So in this business, helping yourself, helping others, and helping more people allow us to be strong, healthy, and change their lives. So let us work together to achieve our dream and our vision together. So can we work together to achieve our dream? Can we work together to achieve our vision? But more important to make yourself strong and healthy by helping yourself out in other to have the vision of dialogue. Can you work with me to make sure that it will help more people to change their life? Can we work together? Yes! Okay, I don't want to take so much of your time. I'm very happy to see your face. So I'm not directly, but from the screen, I can, I'm very happy that now I feel I'm uh, in the big family of Daniel Sam together with all the world. I feel I have now is the same that you're sitting there. In fact, I'm still sitting in front of my office in Malaysia. I'm still in the office. This is my office. I'm standing in front of my office, sitting together in my office. And now it's about 9 o'clock. Not in the oh, 9 o'clock p.m. in the night. But I'm still in the factory. I will take me one hour to reach home. So I will be home by 10 o'clock. And once again, I thank you for you coming today. And thank you for belief in Dynafarm business and they live in Dynafarm program. But make sure to consume the product of Dynafarm. This is the only way to boost up our immune system, especially at this and by that we have to make ourselves strong. So we have to get ourselves healthy so that we can help ourselves and help our people and help us. So the reason all the best and good luck and wish you all have a very good day 
Faturé Fanton. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All the best. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Good luck. Thank you so much. Okay, bye bye. Ten and up. Ten and up. Let's give a little joy and other applause. We can do better than that. That was our president all the way from Malaysia. I think we've all heard what he has said. He's in Japan. Oh, the chairman. Yes, our chairman, the owner, Vene. Vene Vachani. Vamwine. Vene Vachani. Eh. Dora, I must say that you are doing very well. I'm impressed working with you. Oh, thank you. You are doing you. a great job. Thank you. So are you. Sure. So are you. Thank you so, so much. So now moving on very quickly, may we please stand so that we can welcome our managing director, Mr. Richard William Sanyu, to the stage. Manja, 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 manja. Fire, 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 empty fire, 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 fire. Thank you very much. You may sit. Yeah. Uh, I'm really very happy today. And uh, we have been happy and happy and happy. Uh, it doesn't end. And I don't think today we talk too much because I've been talking and talking. But, uh, Honorable Minister, the clergy, our staff, our our staff. staff Madam Shezipi, my MISA, our co-director, CDMs, Indo Bank represented here, our grow dealers, farmers, all protocol observed. It has been long people that are be going to be awarded. I know it is our DNA mail because that's what we always do. Mr. Maponga, I think whoever has not taken your word, if they have put it in the back pocket, then they will not prosper in their life. And we really humbly appreciate for you being here. Our leaders, the reason again of being here is to remind you, it is now almost 15 years down on the line, what have you done to yourself? Are you counting years also? Waking up in the morning, sitting on the, in front of the shop, the day ends, the week ends, the month ends, the year ends, and you count five, six, ten years? Or, as what Mr. Maponga has said, you are going to, re to to change 
your mindset and do better. I was sharing with Mr. Maponga here. We said you might find you are seated here, but one, two, three, four, five, six around you, each side of your house, nobody knows about the products of Dino Farm. You put on a cape and the red thing, you put on a, 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 a bag, you walk. They see you coming again, but nobody has ever used the product for Dino Farm. I know some of you, if you stand here to say, you start crying because of where you came from and what you have been doing and what you've gone through. I really become happy seeing you, how smart you were. And when I saw you, most of you, when you were coming, when even the comb could not pass through the head, but really see how you look like. Dixon, you've said it. Anything you want to say? Am I lying? <laughs> this is what we want to see more and more. When the year ends, 15 years is not small years. Don't think you've been there 15 years, you'll be there again 25 years. Now, in those years, how are you planning to end them? How many people do you want to help? To make sure also they are go to where you came from to now where you are. Mr. Oi, when he was saying, he said that uh, are we going to work together? Are we going to move together? I want to tell you, whoever wants to move with me, I will move with him. Whoever wants to work with me, I will work with him. When I put a, a step, one step ahead, I will go back and pull for yours to put another one behind me. And I promise... I will do that. Those who knows, knows me, those who have been working with me, they know that. And I will do it and do it until I'm happy that even if I have left, we are here not to stay in this world. Even if I can die now, I have left millions of people who have really uh, come up from nowhere to somewhere and benefited and also helped others, I will really sleep nicely. That is my wish. It's a, it, we have been talking it's a lot. Zimbabweans, you are welcome. But I want you to go and multiply and know where you missed you can now achieve. It is your time now. I really want to thank everyone here. I was talking to Mr. Kayemba how sometimes we do this. It's only good how we prepared and how it comes up and how it has come up. The only what I know whether you like or not, whether you are here to take information, there is no any other company that will come to beat us until I'm still alive. <laughs> in thinking, as Mr. Maponga was saying, in, in, and, Nobody will ever. Whether you have said you want 10 containers now, they will be there. It will be for, it will be for you to fail and go and start gossiping and go. Don't shimmer. 
starts a seat in in front of your house and you forget what you should do and do for others that's when you will fail but if you want product and that is your cry you will never fail to have them if you want to to make sure that i pull you up remember we don't just see you in our face it is through the system that we see somebody is coming up somebody is trying somebody wants to be somewhere then we come and pull you up and push you to where you are from. as the time has gone i will not talk too much i think i will invite the honorable minister to come up here eh? and uh, give us a yeah, word please. Maybe as the minister is coming, please remember Indo's Mbia Bank is outside. You will not need to wait. You just go on the table and you move away with your, your account number. And you start business there and then. I think you have heard from him. Honorable Minister. Final up. You may take your seats. Very interesting. As I stand here, I'm carrying two portfolios. Minister for SMEs who are yourselves, that is a business, and means acting minister of agriculture. So it's not it, you know. Um, I want to say I am excited to be here. I really didn't know that I'm coming to meet such a, a group of entrepreneurs, of business people, and I'm excited. You know, I was thinking it's just something to do with agriculture and things like that. I am speaking to business people here. <laughs> and, and that's how I flow. That's how I flow. Because I know that when you are empowered, and I'm happy with this kind of, a, you know, arrangement, the way you're tapping into this arrangement, this is very good. Growing your businesses, you know, and that is my passion. And that's why the president created the Ministry of Small and Medium Enterprise Development. So it's not necessarily about agriculture. Agriculture is a business. So I'll talk about a number of things. Thank you. I hope the chairman is listening in Malaysia or wherever he is. I am extremely excited to be here. And I would like to recognize him. The chairman for Dynalab. The managing director for three countries, Zimbabwe, and you welcome, eh? That's good. Angola and Zambia. The country manager for Zambia, who is hosting this. The guest speaker, Joshua, good to see you. And, and I, I, I need to quickly say, this is what we need. We need to build Africa. You need to come and help, you know, encourage the entrepreneurs. This is good. I listened a bit whilst you were trying to encourage them. The staff 
and distributors. I want to say, ladies and gentlemen, the price. Price you are important. How many are we in here? Instead of being 60,000 across the distributors, maybe we are just about 200. But then, because of the price, who will be able, others will be able to learn about what is going on. They will be encouraged. They will join the team. They will join and be a distributor. I feel honored and privileged to be here this afternoon to grace the 80th Dyna Lab International Zambia Limited Award giving ceremony under the theme Development Through Hard Work and Consistency. That is very important, hard working. This morning, I was in Parliament and you are here. I want you to go and listen to the speech of the President, Mr. Akainde Chilema, His Excellence, and what you're doing here. Exactly. No missing his words. It is time to work hard. And under newborn government, when you work hard, you'll be paid. You're working hard, we will pay you. Anywhere, everywhere. We don't want you work hard and you are not paid. Your work hard, your sweat, we will pay you. <laughs> Master of Ceremony, I am reliably informed that Dynalab International Zambia Limited is a mount level marketing company which deals in wider range of natural health products for human consumption as well as DI grow organic fertilizer for increased productivity and increased yield in crop production. In the last three decades, there has been a notable rise in human, you know, dietary deficiencies, various health conditions, diseases caused by high poverty levels that have stuck many communities in both rural areas and in urban settings. Because of the use of what? Chemicals. Which is true. Times they even say, no, stop eating meat. Stop eating, you know, this food, there are a lot of chemicals. Now, Master of Ceremony, I'm privileged to know that Dynalab International Zambia Limited was incorporated in the year 2008 to mitigate this health, agriculture, and poverty challenges and supplement efforts of the government of the Republic of Zambia to make Zambia a better place for all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm informed that your mission as Dynalab is to be world-class center for excellence in health and in wealth. I'm proud to mention that your mission shall come to full realization in the current enabling environment to guarantee peace, security, and 
favorable economic policies, the government has continued to provide for your business and that of many other investors, both local and foreign. <laughs> Master of Ceremony, the Managing Director, Country Manager. I look, or rather, I looked into the objective of Dynalab, which is enhancing health, sustaining health creation, which guaranteed freedom. Additionally, I am told that in the last or rather 15 years of being in business, the company has grown its distributorship from one to a total of 60,000 plus distributors. This includes women, men, and the youth. And has employed over 200 staff members across the country. Now, this is just in Zambia. What about in Zimbabwe? How many distributors do we have in there? And how many em employment has been created in Zimbabwe? What about Angola? How many distributors do we have? And how many have been employed? I'll pause a little bit here. This is exactly what the Newton government is preaching about. Every day, every time. Job creation. Look at yourselves. You are not alone as you sit here. Maybe you are looking after 10. 10 people. Maybe you employed 3, 4, 5, 10. Families. How many are you helping? For me, 60,000 times 10. 60,000 times 10. Give me the number. That's what we are helping our people here in Africa. We want to say, continue. This is good. <laughs> this government will give you the support that you need. <laughs> Certainly, your objective resonates very well with a new bond government policy on health care, health, care and wealth, creating through various empowerment programs taking place across this country. It is indeed our desire that every Zambian struck every Zimbabwean should afford proper health care <laughs> and is given economic freedom to create their wealth and reduce poverty. Master of Ceremony, the country director or manager and managing director of these three countries. As a Minister of Agriculture, stroke Minister of SME, because I'm carrying two portfolios, which speaks to what you're doing. We are very happy and excited. <laughs> of the steps that Dynalab has taken in recent years, and I would like to with my heartfelt congratulations to you on the four awards that you obtained during the agriculture and commercial show. You were, I think, best 
three, eh? four. Best international exhibitor, best environmental, environmental, very important, very, very important. Best agro, oh, that's good. You know, we're preaching climate change. You are also, you are the best. Well done. I'm sure the sister company, Green Economy, was very happy. And I'll tell you when the minister comes back. Congratulations once more. It is imperative to mention here that among the 6,000, I mean the 60,000 distributors across the country, Dynalab will just in a very moment be awarding these distributors. And that's why I'm here partly is to give you what you have worked for. It has been difficult, especially in the recent past because of COVID. But imagine you went on and sold the products and you made money. You've promoted the company in the midst of all these challenges. Your hard work and dedication will continue to pay off in the upcoming promotions. With this, I say, I wish to confirm or to inform you that the this serious hmm, awards being given today are there's building material value that one million five hundred ninety eight comma five zero zero cash worth twenty four comma zero 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 that's quite products valued at eighteen comma zero 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 it is there for my honor and privilege to officially invite the deserving shining stars of the day who are distributors to come forward and receive your award. Thank you and may God bless you and I end my speech. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. Now he's being joined on stage by the Dynalab management team who will begin to present their awards to the deserving distributors. Dynalab number one. Dynalab number one. That time has come. That moment has come. Please, when you hear your name, come in front. We are starting with the category of building materials winners. The first name on the building materials is uh, Ngandu Honest. You, you pass, you go through that way first, then you come straight here. You go round like that. Congratulations, Nandu. The second one is Emmanuel Chenda. The third one is Sandra Nariwamba. The fourth one is Bless Well Mom. Bless her. 
perfect. The fifth one is Kalitela Songiso. After Songiso, we have Banda London. After Banda London, we have Kala Lucas Taylor. The eighth one is Sakala George. Sakala George. The ninth one is uh, Mwamba Humphrey. Mwamba Humphrey. The last name on the new landlords is Alokadia Hachigonta. These are the 10th new landlords in Zambia. Our second category, I'm going to call the names of those people who participated also in the building materials. The first one is Sith Symbol Twain. Sith Symbol Twain, the second one is Roda Muyawa. The third one on this list is uh, just a chipande. <laughs> the fourth one is the only the one and only copper belt elephant, Kafuti Gaspar. The fifth one is uh, all the way from Livingston, Gracious Mulea. <laughs> the sixth one is Kelvin Mukonka. <laughs> The seventh one is Banda Steven. Canele, Canele, Banda Steven. These are Canele Kadas. The, 
They can know the cadres. I've seen your names here. The next one is Kefas Daka. Kefas Daka. Kefas, where are you? After Kefas Daka, we have Mew Saint Mwanga. Mew Saint Mwanga. Mew Saint is from Mumba DPC. The tenth one is Patrick Sinyangwe. Patrick Sinyangwe. Patrick is a copala sa sa copala what sal from Bola, huh? It's from Kitwe. Patrick is from Kitwe. Hmm? The next one is Fanny Zimba. Fanny, where are you? Fanny, Fanny, thank you so much. Fanny is also part of the Canele Cadders. Canele Cadders, Fanny. They are Cadders, but they are hardworking. After Fanny, the 12th one, we have Monde Wamuima. Monde. Monday, Monday, after Monday, we have uh, Chitalo Febi. Chitalo Febi. Hmm? The next one is a Priska Chiveka. Mama wana mama iba febi. It's never too late to make money in life. It's never late. Priska Chiveka. All the way from Livingston. The, the last one on this sea. Rich people in town. It's a Banda Grace. A big hand for her, Banda Grace. <laughs> Banda Grace. Congratulations, my Banda. Congratulations, my Banda. Yeah. Uh, then our next category is bonus consistency. Bonus consistency promotion winners. But I'm never to qualify every month, every month. Don't be a member when you don't qualify. Don't be a member when you don't qualify. Uh, the first one is Lesa. Uh, Lesa Melan. Lesa Melan. The second one is Muntali Joyce. Muntali Joyce. The third one is Musa and Joy Elijah. The cadres of Kanele, you have made us proud. Thank you so much. We are proud of you. 
Canela is on fire. Our own master, director of program, Mwale George. Mwale George, a big hand for Mwale George. Bonance, consistence, promotion winners. The next one is our own dog. Our own dog in here, Mbugwa John. After dog, we have the Diego man. One and only Diego. John has hammered Diego, you guys. I don't know what you are doing. Do you know how many containers he has sold? You go and ask him, Piri John. After Piri John, we have Jenna Precious. A big hand for GI Grow. The next one after uh, Jerry Precious is Daka Kefas. The Canelo team, Daka Kefas. Kefas, Kefas, Daka Kefas. A big hand for Kefas. Kefas is very smart, by the way. Even the, whatever uh, our guest speaker was talking, it on, I, I'm giving it to Kefas. Kefas is very intelligent. Mark, the way he does his things. The next one is uh, Martha, Martha Nyongo. After Martha Nyongo, we have Mushibo Felistas. Thank you so much. Thank you. Felistas, where are you? A big hand for Felistas. After Felistas, we have Tembo Tomaida. Tembo Tomaida. After Tomaida, we have Valencia Mwanza. The same list, there are people who are not getting checks, they are getting cash. They are getting cash. Check your email, then we share. Before you go, we share. The first one is Laila Msonda. A big hand for Lilia. The second one is Banda Grace. Am I might band a big hand for her? The third one is Brenda Namwilu. Brenda Namwilu. After Brenda, after Brenda, we have Mapongo Swan. After Swan, the next name is Bewe Rebecca. Bewe, a big hand from Bewe Rebecca. Mbewe Rebecca. Mbewe Rebecca. After Mbewe Rebecca, we have Nicholas Swendam. 
Nicolas Fendam, Nicolas Fendam. Nicolas, where are you? It's like Nicolas is not here. After Nicolas, we have uh, Sakala Foster. Sakala Foster. Sakala Foster. Then after Sakala, we have Ted Johnny. Teddy, Johnny, it's like an auntie also. After this one, we have Tracy Musonda. Tracy Musonda. After Tracy, we have Precious Mutelo. Precious Mutelo. After Precious, we have Grace Eon Zala. Grace in Zala. Grace in Zala. Grace in Zala. There's another one Zala. After Grace in Zala, there's Benson Zala. Benson Zala. After Benson Zala, we have Jerry Miriam. Jerry Miriam. Jerry Miriam. The next one after Jerry Miriam is Joshua Piri. Joshua Piri. After Joshua Piri, we have Mambo Juliet. Mambo Juliet. Mambo Juliet. After Mambo Juliet, we have uh, Blaston Mutea. Blaston Mutea. After Blaston, there's Roda Mwomba. Roda Mwomba. Roda Mwomba. After Roda, we have Piri Blessings. Piri Blessings. Piri Blessings. After blessings is Peter Skombe. The next one is Mubila Mubila. Mubila Mubila. After Mubila is Joseph La Joseph uh, Joseph Laiti. Joseph Laiti. Joseph Light is the last one. Oh, sorry. The last one is Kapinga. Blessings, Kapinga. Blessings, Kapinga. Blessings, Kapinga. A big hand for the winners of today. At this time around, I would, I would like to ask the Honorable to take a seat. Honorable, please take a seat. I want to go to the director of programs. A round of applause, please. Congratulations to all the winners. Ten four. Ten four. Congratulations to all the winners. It was not an uh, easy thing to be amongst the winners. It takes hard working, focus, determination. So we continue working so hard and very smart so that we can achieve our goals. 
We have come to the end of our award giving ceremony. Soon we'll be going for lunch. I'd like to welcome Madame back on stage to give us her closing remarks. Dina Lab, Dina Lab, fire, 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 fire. Fire Honorable Minister, Fire MG, Fire Joshua Mapunga, Fire Reverend Father, Fire GM, Fire Operations. I'll ask all the uh, Dynalab staff to come in front. Dynalab staff, please join me. Dynalab staff. I know we are behind time and we have staff here. It's very important to recognize them. I want the whole Bible minister to know that part of the staff are here. So I will give them a mic to introduce themselves. Good day, everyone. My name is Aaron Kisi. I work at Dynalab. I'm the assistant auditor there, as well as the MIS assistant. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you all for coming. My name is Emmanuel. I'm a driver of Dynalab International. Good afternoon. I'm Ivan Smenga, accountant for Dynalab. My name is Ngona. I'm the agronomist. Dora Molaveka. I'm the health and nutrition consultant. My, good afternoon. My name is Glenda Nalungwe. I'm the front office personnel. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Marjorie Naimisa. I work at support staff. Good day, everyone. My name is Perichi Thompson. I'm a sales representative, DPS operator, and Lewanika Woodlands. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Mr. Karim Basan Honorebo. <laughs> I'm the logistics and operations. Good afternoon! How are you doing? Are you excited? Share! Come on, give us another share! I, I, don't, I don't need any other introduction. Mr. Maponga gave reference to my name. I'm that guy who put the reds in the Bible. You all know. Uh, lastly, not the least, but uh, I was here for the sake of the Honorable uh, Mr. Luca Samuel, the General Manager. Thank you, Madam, for this opportunity. I think I'm just too excited. My name is Moses, and my last name is Ngoma. I'm the IT manager at Dynalab. Thank you. Thank you so much. A big hand for Dynalab staff, please. A big hand for them. Before the Madam comes in, I would like to announce that Indo Zambia Bank have lost a fresh drive, blue and white in color. Whoever has come across it, please. Return it to their desk. Thank you so much for the announcement. A flash disk, blue and white. It contains a lot of important documents. Please return it if you have come across a flash disk for Indo Zambia. Please return it to their desk or give it to me. Give it to me. Okay, okay. George, thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. Please, if you have seen that flash drive, return it to George. Uh, Honorable Minister, before I give my closing remarks, these people you saw, the staff are part of the Dynalab staff, others are not here because we are in all provinces. We couldn't afford to close our shops for everybody to be here. Others are still working. 
but with time i'm sure you you know everyone and you know we are doing what the government the government of zambia is asking us to do we are creating employment yes so in closing uh, the guest of honor honorable minister managing director daniel Ab international our guest speaker joshua maponga the indo zambia bank crew the farmers the agro dealers the clergy cathedral of the cross the holy cross dynamo staff the taji pamozi i will say all protocol observed i know we are late we are behind time and people are hungry we have gone beyond lunch i'll just i just want to say thank you so very much to everyone in here for your contribution thank you so very much to all our distributors for hard work what you should know our distributors we cannot do this alone we cannot do this alone you are part and parcel of this we appreciate you and we love you all thank you so much for your hard work what you should know that uh, distributors is that the success of dynalab cannot cannot be complete without you meaning we cannot do anything without you you we need you you need us i would also like to say thank you to our partners indo bank we appreciate your support thank you so very much our partners also the summons the agro dealers we thank you so very much for the support you are giving us using our di grow spreading the news of di grow we appreciate so very much we apologize for keeping you up to this time it's not intentionally but you are aware that parliament has just opened today we are supposed to start our programs in the morning but because of parliament we are delayed i apologize on behalf of the company please we are sorry to everyone else who is here i say thank you so very very much what you should know that dynalab is what it is because of everyone here you see if you are alone you cannot move miles they said together we can is it together we can one person in dynalab cannot bring us here but a lot of a lot of people behind this have managed to bring us together the mg mr sanyu the dynalab staff thank you so very much please keep up the spirit we know we haven't done this for a long time because of covid but i think now things are okay we'll be meeting we'll be meeting almost the way we used to meet before covid is it we used to have a lot of meetings distributors you know but because of covid this has been like our first meeting but please take note of what our guest speaker has spoken today if you don't change your life after you leave this door here you better go home and sleep you are not in the game you are in the category of being poor you are in the category of being poor the he has given us knowledge so it's up to us so if you did not get anything i don't know what your life is going to be but we all need to change our lives with these few remarks i would like to thank our guest speaker also mr maponga we appreciate on a short notice you've made our day we'll knock again on your door we appreciate so so very much we need you more is it distributors yes. we need him like for a day we thank you so very much honorable minister i want to say thank you so very much i know you are a very busy person but you've managed through your busy schedule to be with us we appreciate you so so very much thank you so much everyone God bless you stay well stay focused and work hard Dinosaur
China Farm, thank you so very much. Uh, our media team, we appreciate you. Thank you so very much for your patience. We appreciate. Thank you, thank you so much, everyone. God bless you all. Take a look. Fire, fire, fire. The moment has come now for us.